me just do a big tooth. Hey, good job. Yay. You're so cute. What are you saying, Mama? Ma, Mama, Mama. Mama, 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 yay! What were you saying? You're not gonna do it now, huh? Okay, chicken and gravy. <laughs> you don't want it? I don't blame you. It smells so bad. So we have just had a little bit of a challenging afternoon. Oh, baby. I'm so sorry. Oh, I feel so awful. So Mike has had a headache since Friday, and it's probably climate related, but it's been enough to make him nauseous and really miserable, and um, it wakes him up at night. That's how bad his head hurts, and that's terrible. It's no way to live. So I offered to have him go to the doctor and he actually agreed, which tells me he's really in a lot of pain. So he saw an on-call doctor today because our doctor is out of town and um, they called in a prescription for him for the headache because an over-the-counter migraine medication did nothing for him and ibuprofen barely touched it. And he hasn't been able to get out of work to pick it up, and so he asked me to do it. I've been having a difficult afternoon with her not wanting to nap, but being kind of fussy. Um, I'm guessing that she's going through another growth spurt because it doesn't seem like it's teething related. Um, so I've just been trying to soothe her and, and sit with her and um, just do my best. And she finally fell asleep at two o'clock yes because at three o'clock Mike asked me to get the medication I didn't get to the pharmacy until four o'clock at which point they told me that they had no such medication so I had to call the doctor's office the on-call doctor had to call me back because the doctor's office is closed of course and she swore that she called it in and she seemed annoyed that I was even calling mm -hmm. huh Meanwhile, this one is crying and crying because she hates being in the car. So, <laughs> if you have any suggestions for babies hating the car, I would love to. I mean, I know that there's really not much that can actually be done. Um, but I just feel so bad for her. And then when she really gets crying, um, I start lactating. So, that's that's fun. And then I smell like rotten milk. Um... I don't want to have to do this, but please don't think that I'm complaining. I'm really not. It's actually kind of nice to be able to say all of this out loud and get it out. Um, I'm not upset. I just, I hate that my husband and my baby are uncomfortable or upset or just, and that there's nothing I can really do for either of them. So, the doctor said that she would call back. And I drove around for about 15 minutes and she, the, the doctor said she would call the pharmacy. So I drove around for about 15 minutes, giving them time to fill it. And then when I got here at, I don't know, 440, they said, they said it's not going to be ready for another 15 minutes. So 
I pulled over and I'm feeding Vera. The The problem is, and the reason I didn't do this sooner, is putting her back in the car seat once I've taken her out is the challenge. Um, once she's out, she thinks she's good. So if I have to go back home, for example, you know, and I put her back in, sometimes she cries even harder than she did before. So I try to avoid that. And usually if I have to, she's already sad about being in the car before we've been to our destination. I don't even take her out of the car seat and I'll carry the car seat or I will put it in our shopping cart hammock and put that in, in a shopping cart. If you know, if the trip's going to be long, too long for me to carry her, if I have to get a lot of things, um, which doesn't happen very often. So, and I understand she's not always going to have her way and she's going to cry sometimes and that's just how it is. But, um, it's just hard because we live so close to everything. We're about two miles away from basically any destination we could ever need to go to. And she still really hates being in the car. I can't make it any shorter than that, you know? So, hmm. She wants to look at herself, but she's also eating. She, I don't know if it's a flow thing, but my left breast, she treats like a, I've already told you guys the glass of lemonade story. I've probably, I've told every story a million times, but she just like takes a sip and then looks around and then goes back to it and takes a sip. The right side, which is the real producer, she'll, she'll concentrate and stick with it. So, mm, yeah. Yeah, the worst part, or the best part, <laughs> really, is that I'm almost positive she said mama today. Did you say mama? Of course I couldn't catch it on camera. And of course she was saying it when she sounded upset, <laughs> like she was calling me. But, oh, it was so exciting. So I am sitting in the Walgreens parking lot. Mm waiting. I'm not going to go in right when they told me that it would be ready because I'm sure it won't be and that'll just be frustrating. Um, just to add a little bit more chaos, the dogs are in the car because they wouldn't come inside um, in a timely fashion once I let them out. So I just let them jump in the car and I thought I'd be just running out real quickly. I don't know. They're being perfectly good. There's, there's nothing. Just feels like it's more chaotic because there's also dogs in the car. You know? Luckily, it's not too hot out, so I can crack the window and go in without worrying about the dogs being in a hot car. So, I feel so bad. My poor husband is going to be at work until 8 p.m. tonight and tomorrow, working 12 hours with this terrible headache. I hope he gets some sleep tonight, and I hope that these pills help. What? You want to switch sides? You want to switch sides? Okay. Probably the most difficult thing about this, being an emotional eater and trying to combat that, is of course I want to stress eat. I eat my feelings. I'm not going to. I brought some water. I haven't had a chance to drink it really because <sighs> I've been concentrating. Uh, I've been trying to play Blue's Clues soundtrack music for her because that used to do it. That used to be enough to distract her in the car. but. It doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. Um, but she would recognize it from watching it on TV. She loves Blue's Clues. And I've just been trying to talk to her because I feel like the worst thing I could do is ignore her crying. I don't want her to feel ignored, you know, on top of the frustration she's feeling. Sometimes I feel like when I talk to her, though, it gets worse. You know, if I say her name or if I tell her it'll be okay while she's crying or just keep talking to her and you know keep singing and trying to let her know that she's yeah you that she's not being ignored that sometimes it seems worse so I don't know um, but I don't want Mike driving with this terrible headache either and the weather's not good it's raining I just I don't feel comfortable with that so <sighs> um, and I would call my sister but she's at work so I just, I'm just gonna go in right now. I, I don't know. There are other ways that I could have handled this if I had known that the prescription wasn't gonna be ready, but I thought I was just running out really quickly. Huh, baby? Oh. Huh. Poor thing. She might have a headache too. Who knows? She might be car sick from my driving. I don't know. But the dogs aren't enough to distract her because they are ignoring her because 
they want to know where I'm going. You know, they're excited about the destination, even though the bad news for them is that it's nowhere, it's nowhere fun. It's nowhere exciting. And I'm pretty sure the pharmacy doesn't have dog biscuits anymore. They used to give them out, but they don't any longer. So, <sighs> maybe I'll buy some when I'm in there. Maybe I'll buy some dog biscuits because they've been very good putting up with a crying baby and a frustrated mama. So, hello, sweet girl. Huh. I can tell that I just want to coddle her so badly that I wish that there was some way that I could just sort of float home and hold her the whole time. <laughs> so, you know, because that's a thing. I wish I could just sprout wings and fly. Mary Poppins style with an umbrella because it is raining right now quite bad, which I've probably already mentioned, but I feel crazy and I don't even know what I've said anymore and what I haven't. So, these are the kind of things that it's like... <laughs> These are the days that I could see that I wouldn't have filmed anything, hardly. Oh gosh, you are unnecessarily close to my face, also. My very tired face with my dry contact lenses. My, the little bit of makeup I had on from yesterday is all... Oh, maybe it's not that bad. It was all like smeared around my eyes because I was rubbing my eyes because they were so dry. You ready to go in, baby? Huh? Ready to go in? Everything's good though. Everything's great. There are much worse problems to have, right, baby? Okay. Are you saying mama? <laughs> are you saying mama? Or am I just hearing it because I want to hear it? But you lose. Whoa, big toots. The game's all here. <laughs> Hi, guys. I just wanted to say goodbye. All is well. Yeah, yeah, we're home now. This baby is playing and she has gotten to eat and play some more and climb and she's about to pull my hair and <clears throat> try and chew on my nose, I'm sure. We're gonna have a little, a little bit of giggle tickle fight time on the couch, huh, baby? Um, but I'm relaxing at home. I am happy to report I did not stress eat because I was at a Walgreens so I easily could have gotten a bag of peanut M&M's or peanut butter M&M's is what I meant to say because when I was pregnant that was all I ever craved and I thought about that earlier I was like oh I remember when I was pregnant how many peanut butter M&M's I ate and then I just wanted them but I didn't really want them the stress did and I'm so proud of myself for not giving into that um because it really wasn't that bad it just feels like it when you're in it you know, when a baby is crying, a crying baby that you can't even reach, that's that's tough. But um, I brought her in with me when we went to get the medications, and she was happy to just be out of the car for a little bit. She made it all the way home without crying again. So, so I brought Mike his medication. Bowser stayed at work with him, and we are home now and relaxing. I am hydrating myself because I didn't have a sip of water the whole time I was out. And that's it. I just want to wind down a little bit and say goodbye. Huh. Another beautiful day. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. By the way, I totally did have this shirt on yesterday. That's going to happen. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, you're going to stop now? You're not going to do it. <laughs> huh? Hey, round and round the garden went the teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle under there. She's totally saying mama. <laughs>